Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to this brand new Let's Play of Medieval 2 Total War, the Teutonic Campaign. This is probably the only Let's Play I'm going to do of Kingdoms, just because Kingdoms, you know, it's cool, but it has its own little niche, and uh, someone else is doing as their own Kingdoms Let's Play pretty soon as well, so... Just follow both of us, man. I'm doing the Teutonic campaign, he's doing the Crusader campaign, so that'll be a fun watch. Anyway, let us jump on in, and you guys, you voted for Denmark, so we're going to get started as Denmark. Set everything on very hard. Very hard. Show CPU, manage all cities, strengths. Good all around mix units, infantry preferring to wear s swords instead of axes or spears. Uh-huh. Oh, swords or axes instead of spears. Yeah. Lacks good heavy calf. Eh, whatever. So anyway, as you can see, we start with uh, the traditional Danish lands and uh, this region of northern Germany and these two regions over here. Uh, probably Nieva and Estland. I'm not sure what they're called in this game. Don't need any advice. I... <laughs> Advice would probably be helpful since I'm completely clueless, but whatever. So we have to hold 45 regions, including Akershus, Uppsala, Gothenburg, Kalmar, Ruskild, Visby, and Narva, which is basically this shit. They want us to hold this shit, which I guess we'll make that our primary goal is just holding that shit. And then we'll worry about the rest of the map after that. Let's get started. The brooding forests of the Baltic. Home to the old gods, now home to war. The ruthless knights of the Teutonic Order, who came to deal with pagan Lithuania at Poland's request, now carve a bloody swathe across the land. The Lithuanian pagans fight with grim determination, yet the path of the Holy Cross may be inevitable. Surrounding this bloody conflict, sleeping giants begin to stir. Novgorod, a powerful republic, jealously guarding its freedom and trade. The mighty Danes, renowned as seafarers and warriors, willing to back their ambitions with brute force. And of course, Poland, a proud kingdom, once allied to the Teutonic Knights, now battered and regretful, must face the demons it unleashed. Ambition. Greed. Faith. Total war. Uh-huh. All that jazz. Dokie. So here we are in our happy home, Denmarkia, Denmarkistan, Denmarkiborg. Yes. We have a spy over here. So there's one of our victory goals, Kalmar. There's another one over here, Visby, and Uppsala, etc. We have to grab this one, I believe. Doesn't tell us the name of the region. Oh, it's just the Norway region. But I think this is the town. Yeah, Akershus. We have to get Akershus. So we have to go over there. Down here is the Holy Roman Empire. Hello. What's up, guys? It's Hanover. Magdeburg. Uelzen. Okay, this is a very weird map. And I'm going to turn off the Fog of War just for one second so you could see what is weird about this map. Okay, what's the... There we go. Uh, toggle, fog of war. There we go. Okay, so what's weird about this map is it has a bunch of large provinces. Like, for example, here in Lithuania, we have the province of Lithuania, which is very large, this province. And then directly south of it, we have this tiny little province of Lida. And then another tiny province right here. And then another large province. And that is, you find this throughout the entire map. Like over here, this is a huge province for Hanover. 
and then right next to it you have this tiny little province uh, for Hof and then another big province and these little things are all over Novgorod same thing you know giant province giant province and then this tiny little thing right here Dokshitsky yes it does say Dokshitsky another tiny little province right here Velikiai or Velikie Luki amidst all these large ones and it's just a really weird thing about this map big province Kiev small province Zitomir big province over here Lvov and yeah anyway let me turn the fog of war back on toggle fog of war so yeah the the reason I brought it up is those small little provinces can be really really hard to defend because you you get no real warning if somebody's going to attack you because they're close enough to just take you over right away. Okay, so we start off with this guy next to us. He has no walls. So we could potentially run down there. And we could make a little marauding effort across the uh, northern German territories. We have this army, which All I assume is supposed Lord. to go to Kalmar. Sire. Might as well send our spy over there. Forty-six percent chance. No, no, we'll just go stand near. Just go stand nearby. No, there's, they don't have any backup or anything. Some furs, some honey. Mmm, honey. What else we got? A diplomat. What to go diplomatize with the fucking Norwegians? I don't think so. Get your ass down here to Germany. Without question, my lord. Tomorrow's journey. What the fuck are you talk awaits. with Norway about? Uh, yo, broskies. We're going to kick your ass. We're going to shove our boots so far up your hole you won't even know what day it is. That's all you're going to have to say to them. We don't need a diplomat to say that. All we need is a boot. And here is our boot. Yes. Right here. Thorgor, General. Let's look over our kingdom a bit. Capital is Ross Killed, which is right here. Faction leader is King Nude, or Canute, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, seven regions. We have four cities and three castles. Haven't done anything with battles. Turn number one. 300 turns to do everything. Diplomacy, we have no allies. Teutonic Order starts off enemies with Lithuania. And everyone else is at peace, which is really weird. And the Mongols, yeah. Hmm, whatever. We have poor relations with the HRE. That's not good. Yeah. So basically, we don't have any good relations with anybody. We're just... Nobody likes us. And it's shitty that the HRE doesn't like us, because I'm, I'm thinking as a general plan, I want to stay friendly with the HRE, because they form our southern border. Over here, in our eastern territories, what do you call this? Rival region and Narva region. Well, they didn't really get very created with the names here. They just placed a city and called the region after the city. Anyway, this is, you know, Estonia. This is Ingermanland, or whatever you want to call it. Novgorod region. Wow, yeah. You can do a better name than that. Anyway, I would like to broker an alliance with people who border us, just at the start. Just like we did in our Crusader States campaign, because that's a good way to... Vertu to not get destroyed in the first five seconds of the, of the game. So, yes, my lord. we've got the Teutons to the south over here, and Novgorod to the east. I would prefer to stay allied with Novgorod than the Teutons, because the Teutons are already in a war with Lithuania, so I don't really care if they want to be negative toward us, because they're going to be focused down here in Lithuania anyway. So at the very worst, they would send some of their forces toward us, but they would still send some of their forces toward Lithuania as well. My lord. Anyway, let's consolidate our fleet. We can sail no further today. And see what we can do. Oh, we have a bitch. I'm honored, my lord. Oh, come down here, bitch. I got to uh, yes. pawn you off somewhere. I shall ride How old on tomorrow, you? my lord. Oh, she's young. Hmm. Maybe she can do some negotiating before we sell her off can I help, to slavery lord? or Orders, whatever. My lord. And get some mercs. I like mercs, but we're not going to get some right now. What do we have? Oh, peasants. We have fucking peezants defending this town. It'll do, I guess. 
Men, march! Joining forces! Orders, my king! Combining more peasants troops. over here. My more lord. war clerics. Yes! Yes, lord! Orders, my king! Of course! Oh, Joining we're gonna, forces! Yes! We're gonna come up here to Kalmar eventually. So, whatever. Men, march! Then we're gonna need we another no army this to day, come down here to Uelzen. It's a castle. I guess we'll. What kind of free units do you get? Scouts, Viking Raiders, and dismounted Huskarls will be free upkeep. Yeah. Oh, there's a Viking Raider, but it's not free upkeep. That's odd. My lord. Well, whatever. We'll just leave a peasant there for now. You don't need much defense. We don't plan on going to war with the HRE, so... How far can you get? Come this way. Forward! We have the advantage of surprise here. Yes, we do. Orders, my lord. Uh, I think my we can... Lord. We'll just leave the peasant here. We don't need much here. Yes! Yes, lord. And they're still happy. Good, good. This is our king, King Canute. Come down this way, of King course. Canute. Making camp ready to trade. Merchant. Where do we want to send him? I'm sure there's some valuable shit. The way the merchant thing works is every item on the map has a certain base value. Like this is fish, this is honey, this is fur. Uh, this is salt. Yeah, salt. So every item on the map has a base value. And then that base value gets multiplied by a certain number based on the distance that resource is from your capital. So our capital is Ross Killed, so if we put some merchants right next to us here in textiles or wool, the value would be very low because the multiplier ba would be almost, you know, like one. Basically the distance is almost zero, so the multiplier would be very small. So, but if we took a resource, you know, over here somewhere, like uh, logging or whatever the fuck this is, what it, I don't know what that is. Textiles or something? Iron? So if we went over here to this iron, it's pretty far away from Ross Guild. So it would be more valuable to us. Even if the resource sucks itself, the distance involved would improve its value. Ready to trade. So anyway, let's get this dick hole down here to... Uh... Whatever that is. Continuing on. Looks good. I shall rest until morning. Okay, so we have some... Peasants defending, more peasants defending. You guys could probably do... I don't want to leave our capital undefended, but I also don't want to over-defend it. So we'll just leave some... We'll leave a crossbow. Orders, you guys come over here. My lord. You know what? We could even send some peasants yes. attacking as well. Move out. Why not? Combining troops. Orders, my it's not like they're valuable units. Yes, lord. So we have ten grand. Hmm. And we could retrain our peasants so they become better peasants. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I wish I had more of everything. Ready to trade. Oh, we have another merchant. Uh, yeah, just I don't know. Just go up here and trade honey. I can't be asked. Go to iron. On my way. Whatever. So we haven't done anything yet. We can't diplomatize from long distance. We have to actually send diplomats. We should probably get some more diplomats. We got this bitch and then this diplomat. We only have two. Do we have anybody up here? No agents. Nothing. Okay, let's get some diplomats. Merchants and priests. Yeah, neither of those are diplomats. Really? Can't recruit diplomats? Town watch. What do we need for diplomats? Town hall? Bingo. Do it. Two fucking turns just to get a diplomat. Public order is high because we have a ton of troops there. Uh, you can't really change that. Uh... My lord. I don't want to look too yes. weak here. I don't want I don't want Novgorod to get the idea of sending their army over here. So we'll leave them 
Actually, we'll lower the rate here to so normal, and we'll send some of these dudes over. Oh, no, they can't make it in one turn. God damn it, we need roads. We need roads everywhere. In fact, that's really important that we get some fucking roads. Let's build some roads. Yes. We need roads. You already have roads. You need roads. Uh... Oh, interesting. The Ross Kilde region is all of this. I'm surprised this is considered part of Ross Kilde, but whatever. It is. This is Homestead region and Hasselholm region. Whatever. We need roads. How come the rebels have roads and we don't? I mean, that's just... Come on. We can't build roads because we're too small. We could upgrade the castle or we could change it to a city. Well, you need a wall. Uh, you might as well have a castle down here, since that's a city. That's yeah. Let's get a castle. Let's just upgrade you. Yeah, there's lots of cities up there, and then we'll probably convert this one to a city. But yeah, this one's gonna stay a castle. Okay, that's uh, four thousand gold down the down the the hole. You have a trade route going up to Norway. Okay, that's nice. And you have another trade route going to the Teutonic Order. Good. We're making dollary dudes off them. I like that. What do we need to focus on? Well, I do want to be able to get more diplomats. So why don't we get another, another town hall? You're doing that thing. This guy is doing a town hall. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, roads. Roads. Always roads. Mobility is important. Roads. Ah, oh, shit, you're doing a town hall. Whatever. Well, there goes half our money. Uh, that's a good start, though, I think. Orders Hopefully we'll be successful down here. It'd be very nice. Move out. We go no the, further uh, this day, Germans, the HRE may come up here first, though, but we'll see. If they get there, then we'll just head here, the Strassland region, which is probably right here at this river. So are we done? Can we end the turn? Yes. We're moving. You have catapults. That'll be very nice. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Orders so we should be able Lord. to siege Kalmar next turn. Yes, Lord. I can go right through the woods. That's nice. We move on. Orders, my Lord. Yeah, next turn you can get there. Good. Uh, but yeah. Norway will probably come down here and take this thing. And it's a fishing village. I guess it's all part of the same region. Southern Sweden? Yeah, this is the same region. Okay. Northern, Central Sweden. Whatever. So yeah, are we done? Can we end? Nothing left to do. Let me just make sure. Family tree, King Canute, and his son, and another daughter. Okay. Nothing really to say about factions. Nobody has any ranking. Okay. Uh, agents. Yes, yes. Okay, you're already moving. You're already moving. You... Yeah, I've done all the agents. Okay, no, we're done. End the turn. Oh, shit, we're out of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the time together today. We're just getting started. And uh, the next time, we will actually hit the end turn button. So, see you then. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I fucking can't wait to get this Denmark thing going. You hear me? You fucking hear me? Denmark. Yes, Lord. Woohoo!